Any game, yeah. that, yes. World Cup and yeah. Country Cup and what else? They have? Do they have Country Cup or just? Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. The thing is, the, the the thing itself. Wallahu alam yani. To me, the thing itself, like, sitting down, watching, singing, laughing, whistling. I mean, as a believer and a good Muslim, when do you have time to kill? This is my question. If you're going to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not fulfilling them. And all of these things normally they're attached with what? Mahasi. Woman, naked sisters are sitting there. Yeah. Unless if you're going to watch and close your eyes and tell somebody to tell you when there is no woman to open your eyes and there is no haram to open your eyes. And I don't think it works like that. So wasting time. And sometimes they put it at the moment. You understand that they know that a person is supposed to be present in, in other places of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm telling you, sometimes they put it next to Fajr. You will see a brother hanging around there, a Muslim brother, watching those, those uh, World Cups and games, and the prayer is established, and they don't go in. So these are the qa'iq wa thawani that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask you about them. لَن تَزُولَ قَدْمَ عَبْدٍ حَتَّى يُسْأَلَ عَنْ أَرْبَعَ عَنْ عُمُرِهِ فِي مَأَفْنَاهَ Allah SWT is going to ask you about your age, your life. How did you finish it? And wallahi, thummat Allah. All of these sittings that you have to, they used to sit, you have to explain to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala what happened. Yeah. Because this is part of your life going. Sabah lala. Qal al-shatibi fayadai at al-a'mari tamshi sabah lala. Allah Mustaan. This is what they hate the righteous predecessors to see a young person wasting his time in this life. Yet. You will regret in the future. A brother became righteous after doing everything he can. He, when he became righteous, he said, I tried to understand, to see what is the benefit that I got throughout my life from watching those movies and TVs. He said, I couldn't come up with one. He says his, his life before the righteousness is all about those things. Then. He said, I tried to see even dunya benefit. What is that? I couldn't come up with one. Muslim doesn't know this at all. Wasting time, putting your time in something which has no value. Don't you ever agree to spend your time, to waste your time, for something which is not more valuable than it. Your time has value, don't sell it with anything except paradise because paradise is the only thing that is better than it. That means righteousness. So when does a Muslim have a time to go and sit one hour, two hours, singing, laughing, watching, all of these things that will not benefit his dunya or akhira. You go play, you yourself, I understand. It has benefit, you gain exercise and health, so it benefits you. But you just go and sit down and watch. I'm not saying the sitting is haram. I'm saying it's haram. But when it contains haram things, then it is haram. For example, you're just watching brothers play, playing. No problem, enjoy. But sisters are playing there and you tell me that, no, you have good intention. Which intention is, is good here? So, wallahu alam. Wallahu alam. So, I'm not even talking about the, the thing that people, because it is, I'm telling you, stupidity. Stupidity. Wallahi. To see what, what are some of the consequences and the result of watching the games is stupidity. They mentioned that somebody divorces his wife because of football. Come on, when is the aql yani? Wallahi, alhamdulillah, al Islam. Somebody goes into the house and destroy the TV because he watched and That's nice. Amru maruf. <laughs> so that he did not see what he wanted, he destroyed the TV. I saw one video clip. They said, look at the differences. A, a young boy was completing the Quran, was reciting the last verses of his memorization. He was crying. His brothers were crying. The father was crying. Everyone was crying out of what? Happiness that one of the family member completed the Quran. 
Wallahi, good news, good news, good news, good news, Wallahi, good news. To hear somebody completed the Quran. You, know. you get it? At the same time, also after this, they bring our brothers as well. Another picture, the guy was crying. Eh. And what was the, the cause of Not him alone. He and his group of the brother, because the team they supported, lost. Come on, and the Rajul, Akil, Jati, Fishara, what's up, Tamkia? Allah Hadi Mazalad. Allah SWT guide them. Allah SWT guide them. So you see all of these kind of things and people they're fighting. And last time that was between uh, Egypt and uh, Algeria, right? And they call it, uh, one of the scholars was making a lecture. He called it Al Auswal Khazraj. Because these, these people, they, these people, they're Muslims. And, Muslim country, Muslim country. If it is a Kafir country and Muslim country, we will say what? They're making jihad. <laughs> that is Muslim and Muslim just because of football you fight. And look at the way the, the Egyptian president, he's still alive, Hussein Mubarak. MashaAllah. <laughs> look, look at the way he said. What, what did he say? He was talking to Al Bashir. Al Bashir is Sudan, right? Uh -huh. He was talking to Al Bashir because at the end of the day they cannot play in Egypt and they cannot play in Algeria, then they, they have to take it to where? Uh, Sudan, mashallah. <laughs> the, the place of reconciliation, then. <laughs> Ahl <Ahl-Sun. laughs> But what, what makes it worse is the, 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 strong, the strong warning that was given by the Egyptian president to Al Bashir. <laughs> he told him, brother, my people went to your country. If you know that you cannot protect them, my army are ready. Come on, this is football. <laughs> Come on, this is football, Yanni. So you understand the reason why some scholars say football is haram. Because I'm telling you, no Akin will see this thing that takes place between these two Muslim countries and then you will say that football is what? It's halal after this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Muslim ummah. Yeah. May Allah guide the Muslim ummah. Yeah. Nowadays they even bring religion into the football. Yeah. Uh, one of them was saying, uh, in one of the countries, I think Tunisia or something, he was saying uh, to them, Len nuglabu fina salihun. Allahumma salam. We will never be defeated as long as the righteous people that are still among us. But Allah SWT taught them lesson. The one who told me, he said they were defeated also in that. Area. Just like the Sudanese also, they said, the Qiyamul Layl we made yesterday would never let us to be defeated. And they were defeated badly. Look, so now you tell the world that you make dua, then how are you going to see? Oh, dua also doesn't work. <laughs> Come on. Game is game. They call it what? Game. So you play. And enjoy. Yeah. May Allah SWT guide the Muslim Ummah, but I don't recommend for any Muslim to sit down and waste his time. Wallahi, it's better for you to sleep. Sleep, sleep with some intention, get reward, than staying there watching something that will not benefit your dunya or your akhirah. Allahu Akbar. But if you know that you're going to see something haram there, then it is prohibited upon you to watch it.